What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. The time has come. It's time to go to D23. I have all my stuff right there. I'm decked out in my Disney gear. It's time to go to the airport. I'm going to be flying out of the Sacramento airport into Long Beach today with my buddy Alex. I'm going to be spending the entire D23 week with. I'll go ahead and introduce you guys to him in a minute once I see him at the airport. But for now, I need to grab my stuff. Giovanni's taking me to the airport. You guys know Giovanni. So I will be going to the airport very shortly, saying goodbye to the dogs we have here. And uh, yeah, I'm very excited. It's time to get going and the time is finally here. I've been waiting for this for a long time. So let's go to the airport. Let's get ready for D23. <laughs> Giovanni picked me up. Giovanni doesn't wake up this early because he works nights. So he's typically sleeping. I'm still sleeping. He's still sleeping. He's sleeping while he's driving, but he's taking me to the airport. All right, so we are at the airport now. It's a little busy for a Wednesday afternoon, but we're early enough, so we should be fine. All right, back check only took about 10, 15 minutes. It wasn't too bad. A um, little bit longer than I expected for like a Wednesday morning-ish, but time to go up the escalators that you've seen us go up plenty of times and head up to our terminal. Terminal B, Sacramento Airport. Security line is not long today but the baggage check was. But we have TSA pre-check, so that shouldn't be a problem. Just gonna go through TSA pre-check there, you just need your ID, super easy. Also, I may sound a little muffled, I am wearing a mask in the airport, just trying to be safe while I'm traveling. Probably won't be the case in the park, but here, definitely uh, probably gonna wear a mask and on the plane. Something I've never seen at the airport, they have dogs to pet, like re relaxing dogs. I've never seen this before, this is so sweet. Should have brought Vinny. All right, so security took about, I don't know, five minutes. It wasn't bad. Super embarrassing though. I did still have my sticker on my pants because I just bought these pants yesterday. And this guy was like, hey, hey dude, I don't know if you still want pants or like the sticker on your pants or not, but just want to let you know. So that was embarrassing, but time to go find our gate. I think we're at the very end. And then I'll, I might grab a little bite of food. All right, so I grabbed myself a little Lunchable because I don't want to spend a ton of money getting food here at Cafeteria 15L or on the plane or anything. So I probably will get like a drink here. Just That's kind of what I did last time. So I'll probably do it again. Waiting for Alex to show up. He's going through security. So I should see him very soon. But for now, I'm just gonna eat my Lunchable and order a drink and hang out. I got about an hour till we board, maybe a little bit less. Hour till takeoff, I think. Okay, after our flight was delayed for about what time is it? We're supposed to be taking off in five minutes, but we we're finally boarding. It's not too bad. Our flight got moved up like, like two hours anyway, about a month ago. So we're very close, time to board. Alex and I are very excited. We're gonna be there very soon. We're gonna get to Long Beach, grab our bags, go to our hotel. I'm not sure if our room's gonna be ready yet. We might have a room ready, so we'll just see when we get there. But nonetheless, we're gonna go straight to downtown Disney, check out Halloween merch and go from there. But time to board. I got my snack with me and we are ready to go. To Long Beach, probably super loud on camera because the plane is literally right next to us. There's a quick flight, not too bad. This is how you deplane. All the planes, you kind of saw it in my last vlog when I came down here to SoCal, but that's what it looks like. All the planes, terminals outside. We're gonna go pick up our luggage just down that way, call our lift, and get to the Grand Legacy. All right, bags are secured. Heading over that way, just like we did a couple months ago to the passenger pickup. We're gonna check the prices between Uber and Lyft. Oh, actually we can go this way. It's like humid outside, super humid, but I do like this airport. I like how small it is. Uh, bags took 10 minutes at most to get. So this is not too bad at all. Feeling pretty good. We're gonna go to our hotel and go straight to World of Disney. Once we're able to hopefully check in, maybe drop off our luggage. I'm not sure if our room's gonna be ready, but that is the plan for now. In the meantime, let's go get our Lyft. Oh, we are right here. All right, we just checked in. We are room 101. Uh, we're about to find out if they're still cleaning it. <laughs> Let's see. No, but there is a nice little gift. I'll put my stuff down. Okay, wow, well, this is cool. I will get into this in a sec. Okay, so I told you guys I was going with my buddy Alex on this trip, and I'm gonna make a quick little introduction for him. Everyone, this is Alex. Hey. You're gonna be seeing him a lot on this trip. Um, we're sharing this room together. We are going on this entire trip together, D23, the parks, everything. So. He will be in the vlogs here and there. He doesn't love being on camera, so so it'll mainly be my face that you get to see, but we'll chime Alex in here and there. But this is our room here. We just checked in. Um, this is beautiful. This check-in was so fast and easy. They gave us this tipped over, but we have a little gift basket here, which I will get into in a sec, but just a bunch of snacks and waters and a pen. 
and the room looks great. We have our mini fridge. We have, I don't know if this is gonna be any kind of smart TV. It doesn't look like it, but that's fine. We do have a microwave. Um, I like the artwork. It kind of feels like you're in like a resort hotel, but not at the same time. Yeah, I do like all the artwork here. Let's go into the bathroom. The bathroom tends to be the best part. I like the flooring, it kind of gives me like spaceship earth flooring, which I like. Tall shower head, that is a plus. We are two tall dudes. I can't figure out how to turn this light on over here. Am I missing something? Oh, there we go. Okay, well that's kind of odd, but that's okay. But this, oh, dual sinks. That's super nice to have. With the vanity mirror, Priscilla would like something like this. Bunch of towels for us. Hair dryer, that's important to know. Tissues. All of your little toiletries if you didn't bring your own with makeup remover also. Let's check the closet. I wonder if there's a safe. Oh, there is an ironing board and an iron, so that's good. I don't know that I see a safe in here, but yeah, I don't see a safe. Not that I use one, but no, I didn't see one in the closet. I know some people like having their safe. I don't use it. Coffee maker. Overall, the room looks great. Alex, I'm taking this bed and it seems comfortable to me. So that works. I know we're going to wrap up kind of getting our stuff situated here and then head on over to downtown Disney, go straight to World of Disney and uh, check out some merch, Halloween merch. So that's the plan for now. We're going to get settled and I'm probably going to dive into those snacks and the water. All right, Alex and I, we just left our hotel. It is probably like maybe a five minute walk to the Disneyland gates over here. So we're making our way through. We're going to go to World of Disney, like I said, check out all the Halloween merch because we're we're pretty intrigued by all of it and kind of want to get some shopping done today. We do have Goofy's Kitchen reservations um, around, what is it, like 5.30? Yeah. Something like that, around 5.30, so. If this video gets one like, we'll buy every single piece of Halloween merchandise. Yeah, one like, every piece of Halloween merch on Alex's Dime. You heard it here first. We will come back in one week and buy it all from whenever this is posted. I still haven't gone to Calico Mama's yet, but I'm very intrigued by it, very much but there it is. We're already there. Our hotel is just right there. You can see the top of it right there. So it's super close. Hopefully security isn't long. It's middle of the day. It's currently 3.30. So we got about two hours to kill and I think we'll get it done. We were just saying how humid it is though. It's like 56% humidity. Alex has never felt humidity like this. I think I have like no, once. I haven't felt it like this at Disneyland. Oh, at Disneyland, California. Yeah. But like Florida, for example, I've had this in like Florida, yeah. in like June, it gets really bad. I've um, seen people walk through with the big boxes. I have a feeling those are like the pumpkins, the Mickey pumpkins. Yeah, probably. It's most likely what that is, but super humid. Other than that though, like the temperature itself feels great. Like it's totally fine. Probably just gonna be sweating and feel sticky a lot. All right, security was dead. There's nobody in line of security. I walked in and out in less than 10 seconds. So pretty promising for now. We'll kind of see how the crowds are later. More so when all the crowds show up for the rest of D23. Now, tomorrow is D23 day, so I expect it to get pretty busy later today. And even, you know, tomorrow morning's gonna be crazy. I'm pretty sure you can line up outside of here at around 5 a.m. So we're gonna go check that out and make sure we get here early enough so we get our free D23 day ears for the first time ever. I'm really glad I got to see this. I thought this would be down once Pixar Fest ended, like yesterday or the day before, but in true Disney fashion, things get left up a little bit longer than you would think. So the Pixar Fest flags are still up. I did see some Halloween ones on Harbor Boulevard. However, we are still rocking Pixar Fest here. So even though I didn't get to actually go, I'm here for Pixar Fest. Dude, that's gonna be brutal. The walls tomorrow, like all weekend, especially for D23 day, the lines are gonna be brutal. So that'll be fun. Not to be a pessimist or anything, but. All right, we're coming up on all the Halloween merch and I can feel my wallet getting lighter and lighter as we get closer. Oh my gosh. I've been waiting for Halloween for so long. Okay, Nightmare Before Christmas there. Pretty much all Disney Halloween over here. And yeah, this is what I'm talking about. There's a couple of things I had, you know, my eyes on earlier. Oh my gosh, I might have to get this for my niece. I might have to get that. Let me take a screenshot of it so I don't. So don't forget. Spirit Jersey tote bag. <laughs> you put your ears in there too. This little backpack is nice. I could see myself getting that. And now that we have a drip coffee maker at home, I can justify buying some coffee. I don't know, is this mug? 10 dollars I think mean, the top ones are. I like this a lot. $25, just about what I thought it would be. I do like this shirt. 
could see myself wearing it around the house. Okay, I'm thinking if I were to get something so far, I'm really liking this crew neck, $60. I wonder if it glows in the dark or anything. I don't think it does. Oh, but that's nice. It has some on the back. It's like a little crew neck, but it kind of feels like a shirt. So it's not super thick. I don't think it's something that would make me too hot, but I do like this. This is number one on my list so far, or a nice throw blanket, but I wouldn't use this for a little bit, but I do like throw blankets. This is kind of on my, my radar too. I do like this. Yeah, that's what I like. I liked this at first, but on the back it says, a ghoul's best friend. <laughs> so <laughs> I think I'm gonna pass on that one for now. Yeah, I think I'm okay. I like that shirt up there though. That one's kind of cool. I don't love orange, so that's a thing. But I do, I do kind of like that. Okay, I see what Alex is talking about with this hoodie. This one is pretty cool. But yeah, there's only extra smalls and smalls, so that's not going to do us any good. I do like it. I wonder how it would wash. Makes me curious, but I do like that. An adult costume, that's kind of cool. Usually don't have stuff for adults like that, so I do like that. can appreciate when they do stuff like that. More of these, you know, fanny packs and backpacks and totes. Only this is kind of like a coin purse type thing. Kind of like that. It's cool. This is cool. A villain's villain spear jersey. I like that. I like the black merch for Halloween the most. Oh, I do like the Sanderson Sisters merch. This is cool. I like that color. I could see myself getting this one for sure. This one, I'm not seeing a price. I don't see a price. Oh, there it is. $29.99. Okay. That's not bad. I do like this one. This one's kind of nice. And then you have the spirit jersey, which I do like the spirit jersey. However, I like mine from last year a little bit more, so I probably won't get a new one. Oh, I'll just keep the one I have from last year. So that's my thoughts about the spirit jersey. I do like that it's like, you know, white. It's a little less in your face. Um, the graphics on the back are really nice too. But like I said, I like mine a little bit more last year, so I will not be getting this one this year. Okay, I didn't see this at first, but I do like this tote. $24.99 with a purchase of 40 or more. I would use this for like Vinny stuff, like a little dog bag maybe. I like that, but Priscilla did tell me she does not like to use seasonal things outside of their season, so I will probably hold off on that. But it is cool though, I do like stuff like that. Especially when they have like a deal, because that's really good quality, like a canvas quality. For all you Starbucks Tumblers fans, $49.99 for this. And while it is really cool, I could not justify spending $50 on a cup. No, sir. Not for me. I will pass on that, but I do like it. And these ears I always like for Halloween. Super classic. I think it's cool. Not too spooky. I like the smiling Mickey's on it. Yeah, last time I was here, the Wonderground Gallery was not here. So this should be a lot of fun. See some Thomas Kincaid. Ooh, there's a nice breeze. This weather's like perfect right now. A little less humid, I feel like now too. One day I'll buy something from here, but for now, probably not. I was looking for D23, like decorations or anything, and this is the extent of what we're getting, is banners. So I'm kind of hoping the rest will be a little bit different some Halloween stuff here, but it's kind of like the small knick-knacky stuff you buy on your way out. Some light up stuff, nothing too crazy. Monorail's operating, thank God. It's usually down. Oh, here we go, there's some more construction going on. It's actually nice, I'm glad they're starting to go vertical instead of just like building out. I'm excited to see Din Tai Fung though, it's gonna be right over there. I'm excited to walk by it and check it out. But so far, I haven't spent any money on merch. I think financially I'm doing fairly well, so this is good. It's a good way to start. Okay, so this is interesting. We were gonna go to Goofy's Kitchen right through there. But if you're staying at the Disneyland Hotel, you are now blocked off from entering right here. I'm gonna go check that way past Din Tai Fung. And there is Din Tai Fung right there for those who haven't seen it yet. But I don't know. That's, that's a little bit lame for those staying at the Disneyland Hotel if you have to walk all the way around now. But we'll see how far it goes. It could just be right past Din Tai Fung. That's what I'm assuming and hoping. Yeah, I think, I think it's just... Yeah, and this smells amazing, by the way. Yeah. It smells so good. Okay, so Alex just asked about Din Tai Fung walk-ups. It looks like they do do walk-ups, so if that's something we want to do sometime in this trip, we do have that possibility. Walk-ups are a go, right? Yes. Okay, so walk-ups are a go if that's something you're interested in. Were there any 
Anything she said about walk-ups? Anything that's like... She just said you wait in that line right there and they get your phone number and they text you when they show up. Okay. But and you have to stay in line? Did, did she specify or...? Uh, she just said that they would text you when it's over. Oh, that's not bad. New restrooms. That's exciting. And the new entrance, I haven't seen this yet. So that's cool. I like this. I just want them to expand, which they are. They are expanding more. It'll be a little more, hopefully, Disney Springs-ish if they keep going that way. I want it bigger because Disney Springs is putting downtown Disney to shame. So hopefully we get some more expansions, but this is a good start at least. I'll be patient. Yeah, I thought that everyone would be coming in today. So this would be like the busiest it would be for D23. Yeah, so I figured everyone would be here getting resort reservations, but we checked in about an hour before our actual reservation and they're gonna be seating us any minute now. So this is actually great for Goofy's Kitchen. I'll go over pricing and things like that um, once we get to our table and, and things like that, um, once we get our final bill, but there is a character uh, opportunity. I'll go over the pricing right now. It's gonna be about seven grand per person. <laughs> Yeah, and your firstborn. That's what they charge you. There is a character experience with Goofy, so if you want to go in and take a picture in his kitchen, you can. I've done it before. It's really cool. I'm going to pass on it this time. We do have a character breakfast later on the trip, so I'm going to save the character stuff for later, but it's right there. It's pretty cool, a good opportunity, and then they take you right to your table. So we're going to wait in these yellow benches. Once they call us, we'll go to our seat and start ordering. Oh, nice. Thank you, sir. They changed him. Sorry, it's like not focusing, but this looks so good. Little pen, this is our second pen. Awesome, awesome. This is great. Goofy's Kitchen pen. Goofy's Kitchen drink menu. Good little view of outside. The whole restaurant, there's many. Very excited for this, very excited. All right, so I'm gonna walk around and show you guys the food first. PB&J pizza. Now, Priscilla knows I get that ever since I was a kid. They added sprinkles, so that's cool, but I always get that. Regular pizzas, we have cheese, we have, oh my god, esquita, I'm getting that. Pepperoni pizza, cornbread brulee, pot pie, mini corn dogs, chicken tenders, that's a must. Mac and cheese is a must. French fries, I'll probably get some of those. You guys, I am so hungry, this is gonna be unreal. And there's, there's all the desserts there, and I'll kinda go over desserts when I order it. Let's go over on this side and see what we're working with. Chipotle shrimp pasta, pineapple chicken, mashed potatoes, barbecue pork ribs, honey ginger salmon, and then you got your meats and this over here. Brussels sprouts, assortment of veggies and rice. And then of course you have your ice cream. So guys, I'm not gonna waste any more time. I need to get my plate and get started on my dinner because I am starving. All right, so here's my first plate. So we got the gravy on the mashed potatoes, the sirloin with the au jus sauce, macaroni and cheese, one chicken tender, we got the ribs and the pineapple chicken with the esquita, and I did get an Elysian Space Dust to drink with my water. I also got an assortment of meats and mac and cheese and mini corn dogs and a giant chocolate milk. So this is our first round. I'm glad they have ketchup here on the table, but time to get digging in because I am starving. All I've had is that little Lunchable that I had this morning. So I'm gonna go ahead and dig in. We saved our appetite just for this. We didn't eat all day. I know, I know. We gotta get our onions on. Very good. Target Mode is amazing. That, that, everything is amazing. It's too good. It's the best restaurant in Disney. Oh, you made, you it? made it? Wow, all of it. Not, not goofy, just you? Oh. <laughs> uh, okay, that makes sense. Hey, cheese. Awesome. Thank you so much. Okay, this is my snack plate, my finger food plate here. Don't mind the ranch. I didn't mean to get that much ranch, or maybe I did. But I got a ton of mini corn dogs, a bunch of fries, another chicken strip, and my pepperoni pizza. So this is my second plate, finger foods. I'm ready to dig in. I'm still so hungry. I got left alone. I got left alone. Oh, jeez. Oh my, <laughs> guys, look at this. I'm getting bombarded by Pluto right now. Will you be at D23? Maybe, maybe, maybe not. You should go, I'm very excited. It's my first time going to D23. All right, say cheese. Thank you so much, thank you, thank you. Cleansing my palate with a salad and a slice of sirloin, Alex says that this is not getting my money's worth and he calls them water leaves and I disagree <laughs> that this is gonna be delicious and my one little thing of sirloin. But we still got time, it's only, 
529. We should be showing up right now for our reservation. So whatever, it's fine. And for my grand finale, guys, my dessert. I wanted to try a little bit of everything. As you know, I think I've talked about it. I always get the PB&J pizza since I was a little kid. I got a little bit of ice cream, worms and dirt. I always get worms and dirt too. See a little lemon bar down in there and then a chocolate cake. So I'm gonna go ahead, just dive in and start trying everything because I can only eat so much more and then we're gonna get out of here. It's already 5.45. I'm not sure what we're gonna do the rest of the day, but that is how that is looking right now. Let's go, Alex. Come on. All right, well, we wrapped up our dinner at Goofy's Kitchen after dessert, and oh my God, I'm full. After everything, two people, he added chocolate milk, I added a beer. Everything came out to, including the 18% automatic gratuity and the tax came out to, what was it, 181, right? 181 for two people. So keep that in mind. We, Like I said, we did add the chocolate milk and we did add the, I don't know, no, chocolate milk extra? No, no just that. Just the beer? Okay, so just alcohol is extra. So that was like an extra, I wanna say like 12 to 15. Some, it depends on the alcohol you get. So that was extra. The 18% gratuity is added to any party size. So just keep that in mind when you're getting prepared to go. So it was 181 for two people. Um, I think we justified it. We got a lot of food and had a pretty good time. So I feel good about it. First meal, we did forget to use the discount. Don't forget your discounts, DVC annual pass holder or shall I say magic key holder here so you know keep that in mind don't forget because we did in our first meal but next up we are going to go back the other direction to towards downtown Disney I'm going to go into California Adventure because I made a reservation today on accident um picking the wrong day so I need to check in so I don't get a penalty and I'm going to get him a frozen hot chocolate so that's the plan for now but we need to walk off all this food all right here we are in California Adventure Crowds seem pretty tame. It's not too bad. It's what I would expect for on sick of Wednesday D23 week, but we're gonna go into five and dime. See if I can go ahead and find what Alex is looking for here in a large. So, oh, I love being back here. This is awesome. Okay, ooh, see, I already haven't seen that. So that's new in my eyes. Okay, okay, that was sparse. That was not successful at all. But I'm gonna keep going down to check the other end to see if I can find it there. All right, here's more Halloween. I see the hoodie, let's see if we got it. Okay, so that was unsuccessful. I didn't find what I was looking for for Alex. They did have a medium though. Typically all I've seen is extra small and small, but so far we have medium, it's the biggest. I'm heading down Sunset Boulevard now. See if I can find it in Gone Hollywood. I don't know if they're, they do have Halloween, but I don't think they have the hoodie. Oh, they do have the hoodie. John Hollywood is another medium. So running out of options here, I am heading over to Ghirardelli so I can get him the frozen hot chocolate, which I'm not complaining because I get to walk through here in California Adventure. So I'm very happy about it, but let's keep moving. Looks like all the Pixar Fest is gone from California Adventure. But as we saw earlier, it's still in the Esplanade. It's still, the merch is like still available if you were interested in that, but the rest of it is gone. So next stop, I'm gonna go through Avengers Campus and I'm gonna go check out the Gear Deli frozen hot chocolate to get Alex and bring it back out. And then we might just go back to the hotel. All right, Alex's frozen hot chocolate is secured and we are heading back out of the park. This was just a short little visit into California Adventure before we have a full two days in the parks tomorrow and Friday. So heading back out we go, maybe back to the hotel, maybe relax for a minute, who knows? Just taking things one at a time. That's all you can do on trips like these and there's gonna be so much. Today was just gonna be a very kind of go with the flow type day. So let's get back, let's get planning and let's enjoy the rest of our evening here in beautiful Disneyland Resort. All right guys, we just got back to the hotel at the Grand Legacy. That's gonna wrap it up for the first video. I don't think this is gonna be posted first in the series. So you're gonna see a lot of D23 week content and this is gonna be in there somewhere. So I hope you're enjoying the content as it's coming up. We just got to meet uh, Paging Mr. Morrow and he was awesome. So I'll probably throw in a picture or two of that here. He was super kind and we just happened to meet him on our way back. And we also met Tim Tracker and he's always great. So that was really cool. So we're gonna wrap up the video here. We have an early morning tomorrow for D23 day in Disneyland. So that's gonna be it. Hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you guys next time around. Alex, say bye.